Turkey's leap from tactical drones to the Bayraktar Kizilelma, a carrier-based jet-powered unmanned combat aircraft, is no longer just a concept. The program has entered serial production. The Kizilelma production line combines traditional aircraft assembly with specialized workshops for composite coatings, avionics integration, and low observation maintenance. These include initial airframe and composite layout, system integration and wiring harnesses, engine installation and ground testing, avionics, sensor and weapons bays, and final assembly, functional testing, and pre-flight inspection. The Kizilelma line is staffed by a mix of highly skilled engineers, avionics and software teams, composite technicians, and quality assurance specialists. Baycar's approach emphasizes interdisciplinary teams that continuously monitor the airframe throughout the various stages so that knowledge and accountability remain embedded in the product dials next generation unmanned combat aerial vehicle part of the mayas project designed to carry out high-risk missions without endangering the pilot used a modified ukrainian ai3 to 2f turbofan engine in early prototypes a supersonic variant is planned there are ambitions to develop a domestic engine in the long term stealth or signature reduction designed with a low radar signature possibly incorporating features that support stealth with an AESA radar to enhance situational awareness. Cargo capacity, approximately 1,500 kilograms of weapons and other equipment, capable of short deck takeoff, automatic landing, and operation in challenging combat conditions. Flight endurance, altitude, speed, etc. are being developed. A supersonic variant is planned. Unmanned combat aircraft like the Kizilelma enable dangerous, contested, and high-risk missions without risk to human pilots. Baykar and Turkish officials have stated that the Kizilelma could mark a shift in air power. Projection. The idea is that future air combat may rely less on manned fighters and more on unmanned systems, perhaps in coordinated groups. The ability to take off from a short deck and potentially land autonomously offers integration with naval vessels, increasing flexibility. For example, trials from ships like the TCG Anadolu are part of the plan, the Kizilelma is part of Turkey's broader drive towards self-sufficiency in the defense industry, developing domestic platforms, reducing reliance on foreign components, and positioning Turkey as an exporter of high-tech UCAVs. Initial versions rely on Ukrainian AI-3 to 2F engines to be fully domestic and resilient to supply constraints. Turkey needs to complete the development of its own domestic engine, automatic landing, carrier operations, weapons integration, and flight envelope supersonic variants. High gravity maneuvers all require extensive testing. Delays or performance degradation are risks. High performance unmanned systems can shift costs from pilots to maintenance, logistics, sensors, and software. Ensuring sustainability over time spare parts, upgrades, software is not easy. The sale of advanced combat UAVs could invite international scrutiny, restrictions, or pressure. Integration with NATO or allies may require compliance with standards. Because the Kizilelma is designed to operate from short decks and amphibious ships, one of the production line's missions is to ensure naval compatibility, reinforce landing gear, corrosion-resistant treatments, and software for automated deck operations, instrumented long-range attack test assets, live fire trials, and shipboard trials are coordinated by an integrated test team. Factory security is stringent, restricted access zones, cyber controls for mission software, and export compliance workflows for sensitive components, repeatable production quality at scale, while keeping unit costs under control, scaling up and training the workforce, so that skilled labor is available for multiple airframes simultaneously, supply continuity for complex subsystems radar, sensors, engines, and required lead times, software and cyber security, mission software must be robust, field updatable and resilient to cyber threats, Baycar has publicly announced its move towards serial production and set in expectation of first deliveries to the Turkish armed forces in 2026 an ambitious but publicized target that is driving the production pace. This production line does more than just build aircraft. It creates a supplier ecosystem, defines training pathways for aircrew and maintenance technicians, and provides the necessary logistics for export customers. As Baycar ramps up Kizilelma production, it is also building an industrial base that can support maintenance, upgrades, and future variants a crucial consideration for national defense, planners, and potential international buyers. To explore the Kizilelma production line is to see an 
aircraft program that sits at the intersection of advanced composites, digital manufacturing, avionics integration, and sovereign industrial policy. The success of this line will depend on human resources, process, and supply chain resilience, as well as the strength of the design itself. With the announcement of serial production and ongoing investments to localize engines and other critical components, the Kizalelma plant represents Turkey's first step toward large-scale production of a new class of unmanned combat aircraft. At aircraft. Thank you.